All right, guys, um, this is gonna be another short video. I think what we're gonna do is just for my own sanity, I'm gonna break this whole project up into small chunks. Um, Cause that's about all I can do each day is just, I pick a section of the bike and I start going at it. And so today, uh, what I'm gonna do is remove the front brake system, just the, the caliper, the brake hose, and the uh, master cylinder. And uh, get that off of there and then go ahead and remove the handlebars and maybe a couple piddly items, I don't know. Um, this, this probably won't take very long. I would say for me, a maximum of maybe 10 to 15 minutes. And for you, because of, uh, you know, time lapse, it'll probably end up taking three or four minutes. So be a short video, but um, anyways, be sure to uh, leave a comment down below um, what, what you'd like me to focus on in terms of disassembly, if there's any particular item or... Um, part of this process that you have greater curiosity about. Um, personally, I'm still studying on this whole thing, right? Because let me just point out something, right? So you got the rear swing arm bolted right there with a the pinch bolt, right? Then you got the rear shock that ties into here. Okay. So my thought is I'll remove the, the whole tail section, take it out of the way, get it out of the equation. Then the idea is to support the um, frame or the, the middle of the bike. Just use some uh, tie down straps and ratchet straps, sorry, and uh, and uh, cinch it up up there. Of course, the bike will be higher up in the air when I start doing all this. So this will be out of the way. And then what I'll do is remove the rear shock and remove the entire rear swing arm um, wheel, all that stuff will be out of the way. Okay, so that'll leave just the engine and the front wheel and uh, front forks, right? So it'll basically just be that whole section. And then the intention here is to use a jack, support the bottom of the engine, and uh, actually the jack would have been there in the first place, sorry. Jack would have been there in the first place, this will get removed, etc. And then just start removing the mounts and then slowly let down the engine. And I may end up having to ratchet, you know, ratchet the uh, the frame up higher. And then uh, after that, be able to pull this engine out, get seven or eight hernias as I pick up, twist and jerk over to there. And uh, my uh, vertebrae comes sliding out of my back onto the ground you know, fun times. We'll see. I have no idea what that weighs. I'm guessing around 150 pounds, maybe more. It ain't going to be light. Maybe some of y'all who've picked up these engines barehanded before know how much it weighs. I don't have anyone in my house who's actually strong enough to help me. Um, I have a teenage boy and he's lifting weights. He thinks he's strong. <laughs> he's not. Um, my wife, no way. My daughters, no way. And then I have a nine-year-old boy. He's not helping. He can cheer me on. So I, I would actually, if any of you have any ideas about this, maybe a better idea than what I'm thinking, I would actually appreciate any comments you can leave down below about this, especially those of you who've done it before on the XB. Um, or if you've got a Sportster or you worked on a Sportster in the past and you've you've lifted the engine out of the way, uh, let me know um, what I have to look forward to and uh, getting a disc fusion surgery and all that stuff. So that's future plan. That's future me problem. But what I'm going to do now is go ahead and put the camera into time lapse. We'll remove all this. And when we come back, we'll just wrap things up. I almost forgot, um, got some new parts in. This is a way future me problem, but uh, got some new hand controls, new throttle assembly. So that is um, a Motion Pro throttle for a Buell XB and comes with multiple cams. So you can get different, um, I guess, action in the throttle. 
And then these are from EBR, and these are a de uh, uh, direct plug and play. So I am very stoked. I gotta tell you, these things are amazing. The feel is just so much better than the stock stuff. Very positive, and uh, these are brand new. And I, when I saw these, I thought, oh my gosh, I gotta get them because they were about $50 cheaper than used stuff on eBay. These were brand new, same guy was selling, well, same person was selling them on uh, eBay, and uh, yeah. And lucky me, whoever it was, had do two different shipping costs for each of these. And when I ordered them both at the same time, they put them in the same box and uh, refunded me the shipping cost on one of the items. So that was pretty cool. Could have totally taken me on that and uh, would have been, you know, my problem, not theirs. But they did, uh, they did me a solid. So here we are. I'm pretty stoked about this, honestly. This is, uh, this is part of that modernization thing I was getting at in some of the other videos. Anyways, all right, let's get moving on. guys that's pretty much it i went ahead and removed uh the whatever this thing is um scott go ahead and get that out of the way because it's gonna have to come off anyway um yeah that's it i got uh got some cleaning up to do this is the past several days just been not being a good mechanic don't follow my example I'm being lazy, not putting my tools away. And uh, I end up looking around a lot for the tools that I need. And they're all just kind of scattered around here. So anyways, um, I think that'll wrap it up for today's video. And uh, hope you all enjoy it. And again, like I said, please, please let me know if you have any ideas about this or you know someone, um, whatever. I'm going to be reading online and looking through the, uh, I've got the uh, shop manual and I haven't even looked at it yet. So it's bad on me too. Uh, it's just, you know, life, things are busy right now. So I'll, I'll review the shop manual, see if I can find any input there. Again, uh, thanks for your time. Hope you all have a good one. Till next time, peace out and keep it between the ditches.